Uh, how long have you been working with Dogs Without Borders? I have been with Dogs Without Borders for three years now. Um, how has your experience been working with Dogs Without Borders? I love it. I mean, you can't complain when you get to be with dogs who are <laughs> looking for attention all the time and just want to cuddle and hug and like you. And I've met some great friends too, being in the group, and I've got my second adopted dog out of it, and then it's a good therapy to be around. And helping, obviously, helping dogs find home because it is a bad problem in the nation, which is something nice to be able to do. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I definitely agree. Uh, about how many dogs have you been able to see every year? Um, I believe in our group alone, we I think we're about 500 a year, so we've been around for 10 years now. So I believe we are well over 5,000 dogs that we have been able to see. Okay. Does every stray dog who is a part of Dogs Without Borders been able to be given a home and thanks to this organization or the majority of them in foster care? Um, most of our dogs have been adopted. We do have a couple of dogs that have been harder to find homes that we're, we're not trying to, we don't want to put them into homes because they do have some issues to where we don't think they're, we haven't been able to find a right home to be able to adopt them into or even get fosters for, but most of our dogs pretty much are adopted eventually in a short amount of time or a long amount of time, we do not give up on any of our dogs. How do you think Dogs Without Borders is more effective than other organizations? There's a lot to that. I mean, I think we have definitely realized the best way to get make sure adoption is good is by having mentors and people that consistently keep in touch with our sponsors and with our potential adopters just to make sure along the way that if any issue comes up, they know that someone is there to help them out and to up with ideas and tri tricks and tips on how to make an issue positive and then change it and help it to make sure that it's a good adoption. Uh, do you think Dogs Without Borders impacts people? If so, how does it impact you in your personal life? Well, for me, I mean, I have more dogs in my home because of being with Dogs Without Borders. I think definitely, like, having a dog is helpful for people with stress. It's a stress reliever and people that have actually been depressed, they get a dog and it just changes their whole life view and suddenly having that extra fur child around doesn't harm you in any way. Any last words of advice you'd like to give to the high school students or any or anyone in general? Um, if you're thinking about adopting, definitely adopt. Don't shop, don't support the puppy mills, but make sure you're choosing a dog that is right for you, not just because you like the way it looks, and definitely make sure that it is a choice you are wanting to make. It is a life choice and that it is a serious choice that will affect you and your choices and is work for the rest of the dog's life. So adopt. The main skill we learn while working with Dogs Without Borders is time management. We only worked there for like five hours, so it really did help us. Yeah, we had to fit things in a small schedule and since we only had a small amount of time um, to, to work with the dogs, Everything was done in a certain amount of hours. Another important skill I learned while working with Dogs Without Borders is um, following instructions. Sometimes things are meant to be done a certain way and the volunteers wanted us to do it that way. So we made sure to, well I did, to follow them exactly how they were supposed, how they said to do it. So, yeah. Um, another skill I learned from working with Dogs Without Borders is multitasking. We had to also take care of the dogs and also attend to other volunteers what they tell us. One effective skill I learned while working with Dogs Without Borders is problem solving. Uh, sometimes we were left alone without other volunteers watching over us. So and problems did arose, so we had to like think quick on our feet and be able to problems to solve them as soon as possible. Um, another skill I learned from working with Dogs Without Borders is communication. We have to be social and communicate with other volunteers as well as our team members to um, help with the dogs. One of the skills I learned while volunteering at Dogs Without Borders was to be polite in any given situation because you will encounter like someone being rude to you. So that's something that I learned while working at Dogs Without Borders. Something I learned while volunteering at Dogs Without Borders was, to, was patience because I had to work with dogs that were very like hyperactive and w wouldn't work well with others and I had to take care of them and make sure that they wouldn't like fight with others. The second skill I learned while volunteering at Dogs Without Borders was memorization because I, we 
we were given like a paper with all the information of the dogs and then I memorized like the name, like how old the dog was and everything so I could give like accurate information to the people that were trying to adopt or foster the dog. Another skill that I learned at Dogs Without Borders was working with others because we were exposed to different ethnic and social backgrounds from the other volunteers and it's something that we aren't really used to from going to Gertz and I had to adapt to it and it wasn't something that I was really like exposed to before or something I was used to. My experience at Dogs Without Borders was new to me because I've never volunteered at an organization and I think it was pretty good like for the first time I agree uh, this was definitely my first time volunteering at any organization and I'm glad it was Dogs Without Borders because overall they were nice to us and it was a really good experience my experience at Dogs Without Borders was actually something I didn't imagine it to be as um, people were surprisingly different than I expected like I encountered a uh, rude lady but it was okay and I got to help out with dogs which is something that I'm not used to since you know I'm I don't have many dogs in my house um, my experience with Dogs Without Borders was pretty interesting because um, I really like dogs sometimes, most of the time <laughs> and um, it was good interacting with other people and meeting new people and I feel like the dogs are really really nice oh well, they can't be nice but they were gentle. Yeah, they were.